Welcome, welcome everybody to this Peluca Paint stream. My name is Peluca and I paint, hence the name Peluca Paints. Today, <clears throat> we're gonna do this beautiful skink's eyes. Yeah, we're gonna do the eyes and probably the, the claws. Yeah, the claws, the, the, you know? Yeah, the claws, I think it's the claws, that's the name. We're gonna do its claws. We got the teeth, we got the mouth, we got everything. Let me just check on a few things here on the camera. So, we're gonna do, I think, the eyes first. Uh, as you can see, we got two eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we got number Juan, Juan Eye. Two eyes. It's gonna be kind of like yellow glowy eyes. So I think we're gonna start with clear orange. Yeah, I think clear orange is a good Yeah, I'm gonna use my, my glasses. Just doing some very nice detail. Let's begin with the eyes. I'm always tweaking <clears throat> the lights, the position of the camera, always a little bit of tweaking going on here. There we go. There we go. So if I am here, there we go. I think that's not perfect, but looks very nice. Yep, okay. We're gonna start with a little bit of clear orange. Oh shit. I forgot about our medium. Let's always use a little bit of medium. There. So, as I was explaining. We're starting to do the eyes right now. The first uh, paint that we're gonna lay down is going to be clear orange from Model Color. That's just a few, uh, a couple of thin layers, and we're gonna be done with this very quickly. couple of layers, two to three layers should be enough to cover the base orange of these guys.
So I think that's enough orange. For well, as you can see, it's a very nice base layer. We've gone uh, a few times over it. I don't know if I should do the kind of it has. I'm doing kind of like a little glow around the eyes. Not too much, but just a tiny bit of glow around the eyes. So I don't think if I should do that right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that right now, just to save time. So we're gonna get the brush, the tip of the brush right between the eyeball and the eyelid. There's like a crevice. I'm gonna get the orange right in there. So when we are painting the rest of the eye and we're starting to go from orange, we're gonna go to yellow and then to white. Then I'm gonna leave that recess painted orange and it's gonna look as if it is kind of glowing. So that is going to sell the effect a little bit better. But we're not going to do like a very strong OSL, it's going to be just a like a suggestion of, of, of glow coming from the eye. So that is what we're doing. gotten a little bit over the crevice damn but it's okay it's just a lower eyelid it's quite okay okay so we've done that in the eyes as you can see I've gone with the orange right there a little bit over the eyelid just that that part that is you have the eye this is the eye you have that crevice between the eyelid and the eye and we've painted this part of the eyelid, the eye, and that crevice. But we haven't gotten over this part of the eyelid. Just this kind of tiny, very thin space that we have there. So right now we're going to take a little bit of fiery orange. This is uh, Citadel paint, that's why it's written in, uh, in like, kind of, I don't know what the name of the... It's not a pen permanent pen maybe something like that permanent pen what well, it says fiery orange citadel paint oh this is a little bit magic marker uh yeah probably a magic marker that's the word the one that is yeah permanent permanent marker maybe a marker is is it if it's permanent do you still say magic marker or do you say permanent marker In Spanish we say indeleble. Sounds nothing at all like English. We're gonna go over the same places, just now we're gonna leave that crevice. We're gonna leave that crevice between the eyeball and the eyelid. Now we're gonna paint that that uh, thin line in front of the eye, on the lower eyelid and the actual eyeball. Give it the name magic because, probably because it's magically stayed on no matter what. Okay, magic marker then. Yeah, it is weird that they call it magic marker. It is very strange. Like, we don't know how to call it. It's, it's magic. Yeah, magic.
But oh well, let's keep on painting. As you can see, we have now finished that second layer and it's already kind of looking like it's glowing. Can you see it? Just with that layer of orange, we're selling that effect of glowing eyes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna accentuate that effect even more by going to yellow and then we're just gonna use a little bit of white. Just a little bit of white. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna take gold yellow. Like I said, what we're trying to do right now is, you can see it looks like the eye is fucking glowing. That's because we have, that's because we have been building up that from orange, dark orange, bright orange, now we're going yellow. Then we're gonna go bright yellow and then we're gonna go just a tiny wincy bit of white. And every time I am trying, I'm doing a new layer, I'm always trying to cover less surface. When you try, you, when you cover less and less surface, that is how you sell that kind of glow effect on the eye. There we go. I think that's done, look at that. Glowing eye. So now we're gonna go with an even brighter yellow. So we went from clear orange to fiery orange to gold yellow and now we're going to go to deep yellow. Should we use deep light yellow or flat yellow? We're gonna go deep yellow. Deep yellow and then we're gonna use white. <laughs> Just placing a little bit of that paint in the middle of the eye, letting it dry. Doing the same thing on the middle of that line on the bottom of the eyelid. Little by little, selling that glowing eye effect. So now the last step that we're gonna do on the eyes is going to do tiny dots of white right in the middle. So that it, you're gonna see that tiny dot in the middle of the eyeball is going to make all the difference to sell that glowing eye effect. So we twist the brush just to have a very, very nice fine point. Now we're going to the middle apply a tiny little bit
that's good. Just in the eyeball. You don't do it the the little white dot on the on the eyelid. But I think I'm gonna go back with this yellow. Cause that white dot was a little bit too too big. So we're gonna cover it again with the previous color that uh yellow flat yellow was it or deep yellow can't remember one of them i would have to watch the vlog i completely forgot what yellow i used but yeah we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the white dot even tinier there it is Have the white dot here too. And there it is, glowing eyes, my friends. Completely finished. You see, it looks like there's a fiery glow coming from inside those eyes. You can see him alive and furious. Now we're gonna go and uh, do the claws on the the nails on his foot because as you can see he's missing one foot right here he's missing one and that is because that foot is connected to where he's going to be sitting the throne of Lord Croak so now we're gonna do the nails of his two hands and of uh, his one foot that's what we're gonna do we're gonna clean the brush This tiny stone here that you're gonna see this is part of the throne of Lord Croak. So I'm just painting it black because it's going to be black marble. The whole throne of Lord Croak is going to be black marble, so. Might as well just paint it now.
Now I think I got it all. Okay, before we continue, no, we actually can continue with the nails and, and fix the the marble at the same time because it's it's going kind of in the same colors, just that uh, the marble just stops in in kind of a gray tone and the nails are going to go all the way to off white. So now we have taken, we've gone beyond the pure black from game color. Now we've taken neutral gray, and because I didn't notice when I was painting the fin, here this fin last time when I was finishing that, I didn't notice, but some of the color had brushed here in the shaft of the mar uh, black marble spear, so I'm gonna fix that and then I'm gonna continue with the tiny nails uh, and claws from the from the skink. So now that we have finished applying and correcting that gray in the black marble uh, and I have uh, finished applying that neutral gray on the nails, we're going to apply a little bit more light with gray sear. See the little base color? Almost all the time you're gonna, the brighter color, you're gonna apply it and apply it in a, I, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, it's a, even a smaller surface that you have before.
there we go. Yeah, all those colors painted nicely. We got the nails here in the feet painted very nicely. And we're gonna go for that uh, off-white to make them very bright. And it rhymes. <laughs> oh shit, it almost spilled. Ah, relaxing the eyes a little bit. Ugh. Oh! Mm. And the coffee that's always at the bottom of my uh, thermos, it's like extra bitter, <laughs> I don't know why, so it's, it's like extra black and extra bitter, it always makes me like, uh, but I need it, definitely need it. Oh dear god. Oh, I'm gonna, I need a sip of water. <laughs> Shit. Give me one second. Oh, a little bit of hydration. Oh dear god. Oh shit. Woo! Oh. There we go. Uh, now we go off white. Yes, like we were saying. We're gonna take some game color off white. We're gonna shake it properly. Very nicely, very shakily. And yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, God damn it! I'm, I'm very burpy today. I don't know what I have eaten. Dear God. We're gonna thin that off white a little bit. We don't want it too thin. We don't want it to be like a glaze. So there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go over these tiny nails here. Give me one second, I wanna... Let, let me see something. I wanna see if... Maybe the nails are on the rest of the... The miniature. The croak. Uh, Come on, load, you piece of poop. You piece of poop. seem like it okay so those are the nails very tiny you cannot see much of it maybe he's got them the nails encrusted in the, the black marble so. there we go here can you see those nails here right in the back there we go let 
I'm gonna make them a little bit more bright, just a tiny wincy bit more bright. There we go. I want to say it's a little bit thin. See? That's a nice toenail, claw, toe claw, claw toe, something like that. There we go, it's done. We got the nails there, right in the, the marble shaft. We got the nails right there. We got the tiny nails right there. And this is all we can do with him today. Because for the next step, I want... Give me one second, my nose is very runny today. Also, or as of late. Just one segundo. One sec. No, I'm not gonna turn off the mic because then it just goes nuts. Okay. Oh, so sorry. So, the next step on this guy would be to apply all the gold paint the gold and then do the feathers and the glowing stones which would be one here one here oh sorry I'm not showing <laughs> really sorry again so let's recapitulate next step on this guy is to paint the gold finish the gold and after that doing the feathers which I think I'm going to do... I don't know if I should do them red. <laughs> Just to add to kind of the red crest. Having them here kind of red. And then having the, the top of the spear with a green. This orb would be green. There's a tiny orb here would be green. Uh, 
he has a, an orb here in his kind of uh, loincloth here. This is green too. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that first because I'm going to do a little bit of OSL with that. And for that, the gold needs to be finished. So I'm gonna do the gold first, then the, the feathers, and then finally the OSL. But right now I'm not gonna uh, paint metallics because I have been painting metallics for the last from Monday, four days, four days in a row, just metallics with the other project that you saw me working on last week, the, uh, the Night Warden from Games Workshop, Warhammer 40k. And um, I'm a little bit tired of metallics right now. So I'm gonna give them a rest for a little bit. So we're gonna stop with this miniature for a little while. Next week, we're gonna be attacking this guy, this incredible, desiccated toad. I'm still not very convinced with how the skin is uh, kind of turning uh, around uh, or uh, how it's turning out. Not not that um, convinced, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep pushing it. I'm gonna reevaluate the the tones of the skin a little bit. <laughs> How am I gonna go about it? What color the, the bandages are going to be? Because I didn't think about that a little bit before, but like 80% of this miniature is its uh, bandages. So I'm gonna uh, go about this, and when we have this guy finished, then I'm going to go and, you know, do the gold, because this guy also has a lot of gold. But we're gonna touch that the next week. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a little bit of OSL in this beautiful miniature. This is a conversion, <laughs> which this guy, I think, is, is going to pop up here somewhere in a, in a bit. But the thing is that the client wanted to have glowing blue eyes, like uh, OSL coming from the eye sockets. Which is difficult, because the eye sockets are, you can see it's kind of deep and it's not easy to make uh, OSL in a concave surface it's very easy well for me at least it has it has become with a lot of practice easy to make OSL effects on uh, it's not concave it's a uh, convex maybe I maybe I'm talking shit but like on, on round surfaces like protruding surfaces it is a lot easier to do it like in concave surface, like a hole, you know. It, it, at least in a in a in a slit, like a a, a crevice, it's kind of easy. But a circle, like a concave circle, it's it's for me it's 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 become difficult. So we're gonna try that out. Before we try that out, I have to go to the bathroom. So you're gonna excuse me for a minute. And uh, I'm gonna be BRB. Just one second, my friends. BRB, don't you go anywhere. We have painted. It took us a while, but we, uh, we're having a nice civilized discussion with our viewers about some other non-miniature related things seeing as we have uh, such a huge crowd here we've got uh, it went on to be a long conversation so we have uh, finished the eyes we have finished the nails of the skin and our next step would be to paint the gold but like I said uh, previously I have been painting metallics for the last four days for about 10 to 12 hours each day so I'm, and I honestly hate painting metallics. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the gold a rest uh, for a few days. I'm probably gonna touch it up in the week. Uh, probably uh, by the next stream, uh, we're probably just gonna be finishing up some touches on the green OSL and on the feathers, and this is gonna be mostly finished. But I have a lot of other uh, thingies that I have to move forward on. So. Um, we are going to try, I say try because, uh, 
I honestly, I tried it last time, making uh, some OSL coming from the eye sockets of this, uh, the school of slug tongue. And I failed completely. That's why I repainted the face and it went on to be like this bone color. So, uh, as you can see him right there. Oh, look, same guy, same guy. Okay. <sighs> so, um, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to do some uh, blue OSL coming from the eyes and we'll see. <laughs> Reroll ads are disabled for 11 minutes. Oh wow, I've been doing ads all this time. Who would have thought? Mm, there we go. Okay. So, and yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, begin. I don't think I need my my glasses for this first step. First, we're gonna take some dark Prussian blue. And we're gonna expand this all in the inside of the eye socket and a little bit, just as we did with the skin at the beginning, that we went a little bit over the eyelid. We're gonna go a little bit over the eye socket right here on the low and a little bit on the bottom here on this, uh, under your eyebrow, where your eyebrow actually is. I have a pimple here, maybe? I don't know, I have a, something there. Doesn't matter, thing is that we're gonna go and we're gonna apply that blue just uh, under the eyebrow here on the lower part of the eye socket and inside because we want the globe to come from the inside so yeah we're gonna see how it goes if it looks like shit I'm gonna have to repaint it black and blah 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 so we'll see wish me good luck there we go a little bit of that Prussian blue, which is actually a very nice dark blue color. I love it. I've grown very fond of it. Where do we have our medium? We need a little bit of our medium here. thing is that I think we're gonna have to go a little bit over the eye socket, just a little bit. there to be To sell that OSL, that inner glow from the eye. 
have to be a bit precise with this. You know, it cannot be just wishy-washy. For those of you just jumping in, my name is Peluca and I paint, hence the name Peluca Paints. Today we painted a skink, we painted its glowing eyes and its nails and, or claws and right now we're doing some OSL coming out from a skull. This is actually a conversion I made for a, it's a commission for a client. This is supposed to be Zlaktong, a beast man character that actually has no model currently. This tiny spot that is just not wanting on to catch. Okay, so far we're good. We've built up that <clears throat> base, uh, what's it called? Uh, brush, dark Prussian blue. I think I'm gonna go a little bit over it just on the insides. I see it's gonna be very hard to get that. 
that inside uh, glow. It's so difficult. I think I might have to maybe take a little bit of green putty and making it not so concave so that I kind of have a surface to paint it on. Maybe. Maybe I'm gonna have to do that. You know, but who knows. Let's, let's keep on going. So we have that kind of dark bluish glow set in, okay? We have that down. Now we'll take the te blah, blah, tech. We're gonna take the next step. We're gonna take the next step. Let's shake this. It's gonna be dark blue. We had dark Prussian blue, now we just have dark blue. A little brighter than what one would think. God damn it, words are not easy today. <clears throat> My brain is just going. <laughs> Whew. So, let's do this. We took that color. We're gonna thin it a little bit down. And we're gonna go with that color into the sockets. The eyes, the eyes, not the eyes. Like I said, maybe the trick that we can use is to probably put in some green stuff or some uh, <laughs> milli putty inside the eye socket and kind of that very concave hole that the eye socket has, just pulling it a little bit out so that we can paint on top of it. Maybe I'll try that out if this doesn't come out as I want it to. We'll see though. Yeah, because it's, it's very, it's just so deep. Ah, fuck. So deep that it's just immediately dark so it doesn't matter if I put white inside it's just gonna look dark it's gonna look silly there we go you can see the inside is kind of blue Too loud? This is very, very low. Give me one second. So, okay. Excuse me about that. Yeah, 
see it's very deep. Like the eye socket is a very, very deep hole. Maybe if I just seal it a little bit, we're gonna have to probably leave it there. have that blue kind of dimming dark light around it we have the a little bit brighter blue a little brighter blue inside the eye socket now we're gonna go with an even brighter blue just trying to build that OSL which is kind of difficult but we're not gonna give up that easily It's tricky, tricky, tricky. I think the smart thing is to kind of seal this eye socket with a little bit of uh, some green stuff and just kind of making it pop a little bit and then painting over that. Otherwise, it's just kind of silly. Oh, okay. Ah, no, we got one. We'll see how it goes with this. Now, oh, I forgot to, to talk about the color. We're now using electric blue from Game Color, by the way. So we've used dark Prussian blue as a base. Then we paint the inside of the socket with some dark blue from Model Color. And now we're going for electric blue from Game Color. So we're, gonna, we're trying to always paint less of a surface just to get that nice uh, glowy effect. It's just silly. It's just very, very silly to do this.
Hi, this Oi. be a grand enough lot. We McG follow. Thank you so much for that follow. Really appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Welcome, welcome. My name is Peluca and I paint. Hence the name Peluca Paints. Today we're doing. We've ended up doing kind of OSL on on a few miniatures. We've done uh, glowy eyes here on uh, Slug Tongue. Slug Tongue, which ended up looking pretty good, I must say. Better than I hoped. Yeah, his eyes are glowing menacingly, don't you think? Recommended by a friend. I'm here painting some flames of war paratroopers. That is some... Is that the, the bolt action? No, I'm, I'm talking out of my butt. How are you, Weak Magine? Thank you for that follow, really appreciate it. Who, if you don't mind me asking, who recommended you? Oh my back! Oh dear god! 50 millimeter, but I'm going to use them for bolt action. Oh, okay. I've heard a lot of good things about bolt action. Really cool game. Seems pretty cool. Pretty cool, cool. What the fuck is this? It's new sats. It's new sats. Give me one second, please. So, we finished. Uh, today we were painting the eyes on this uh, skink priest. We have this uh, lava skink, uh, lava lizard, lava lizard skink color scheme, as you can see here. Very nice miniature. We did the glowy eyes, we did the nails. Previously we painted this black marble shaft, we painted the skin, we painted the leather, we were going to do the um, the gold actually, but um, as I was saying previously on the stream, I was working on a project that took me about almost a month more than I thought it would, and for the last four or five days I have just been painting metallics, and that, you know, uh, I don't like painting metallics that much. I'm painting five days straight for 10 to 12 hours, just metallics has kind of killed me a little bit. So I, I really don't want to touch gold right now. But uh, yeah, we painted the glowy yellow eyes. Uh, depending on the commission. Uh, for some metallics I use true metallic metal. And for some metallics, I use uh, NMM. If you see here, if you see um, what's his name, Belgar Iron Hammer. If you know who that is, it's the, gonna be the dwarf who has a, a shield and a hammer. Uh, that miniature I did completely with NMM, and most of all I did with uh, not NMM but uh, true metallic metal, TMM. So yeah, this is what you have <clears throat> painted today so far. Glowy eyes on this dude, glowy eyes on this dude, and some cloth and nails. That is Belegar. That is uh, NMM, completely. All the whole armor, everything about him is NMM. Took me a little while, but enjoyed the hell out of that miniature, and I gotta say, he turned out pretty cool. Better than I expected. This is my second time trying out NMM. So. Now that we have finished uh, Slug Tongue here, a hundred thousand percent, I actually thought I had finished, then I looked at the, uh, at the instructions from my client and I forgot he needed uh, glowing blue eyes, so there he is with glowing blue eyes. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the Lava Skink. I don't know what I can do right now actually. Um, yeah, hell. I thought it would take us longer. Maybe, maybe I will take on that. Maybe you can do croak a little bit. Although, I wanna take this guy slowly. That is the thing. Sometimes I find out that I don't have that much. Oh, I know what we can do. We're gonna paint a marine. It looks great. I hope to get your level someday. Dude, it's it's all practice. Practice, 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 practice. It's all practice. So, um, this guy I painted with oil paints. Okay? So it's all just a great dry brushing. 
oil paint on the top and that's it so that's how you get all those uh, edge highlights and all that good stuff so now what we can do <laughs> is actually just getting to some detail with this guy I uh, okay. there is something just stuck in there Clean this up with a Q-tip, and we have a few fibers there. So let's. Or is that paint? No, it's just some dirty shit on top of it. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna detail these two down. That's not a bad idea. Probably well, always wanted to finish this guy. But um, we're, we can do NMM here. We can do NMM on the gun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> God damn you. And as you can see, this is a dark angel. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this dude. Finally paint a miniature of my own and haven't painted a miniature of my own uh, in a long time. So, first of all, let's look at some Dark Angel emblems, so that we can uh, see what we can do with this guy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Dark Angels Horus Heresy. Because I like the Dark Angels color scheme in the Horus Heresy. I don't like the the green one. Yeah, Taliban. Blah blah blah. But I like when they had like black armor and all that stuff. They look pretty freaking cool. Okay, so we have we have this. We might may do a lion, a lion somewhere. We're gonna do the, the chest pattern probably. Yeah, but for that I think we do need to finish the the black armor first. Oh yeah, this is very cool, very, very cool. Dark angels in the Horus Heresy are so cool. So freaking cool. <laughs> oh yeah, with the with the pentagram. Freaking metal. So cool. Okay, yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna paint him like that. Okay, cool. So we're gonna um, we're gonna try and, and do a little bit of, of edge highlighting here. But just just in a few precise places. Okay, we're, first we're gonna try and get all the fibers out. As you can see, he has, he has some fibers here down. Wait, I think this is a little bit dark. I had some problems. I, 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 I bumped into a USB port and uh, that messed up. Like it turned off the cameras and I had to restart and it was so weird. See? all black I need to make it a little bit brighter so you can see actually what I'm doing so you can actually see what I'm doing something sorry so English is not first language it needs a uh, hard sometimes okay so apply okay close and let's paint this dark angel shall we for those of you just jumping in my name is Peluca and I paint hence the name Peluca paints uh, <laughs> and yeah, right now we're painting a dark angel miniature. So we are just removing the, the more I look, the more fibers I find from. Uh, there we go. Oh, dear God, it's a lot of fibers here. Sorry, but I gotta, I gotta clean those up. Otherwise, later it's going to be a bitch to clean these up. Like I said, the technique that I use is I, I prime this all black, then I dry brush it with the gray, all the miniature. 
dry brush it, a quick dry brush with this color, neutral gray. Then I do an oil wash with a mix of black and... Whoa, 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 wait, 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 what is this? No, 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 I don't know if this is copyrighted music or not. Sorry about that. Yeah. Because I have started to putting my VODs into YouTube. If you want to see the previous VODs of uh, other stuff that I have been painting, please do check my YouTube out. You know, the, the, the link is down in the descriptions. And uh, <clears throat> and yeah, because I, if, if I use non-copyright or copyrighted music, then I... Uh, just gets kind of muted and in, in in YouTube the the it, it doesn't get revenue although yeah my, my channel is not big enough to get any revenue but you catch my drift so I'd rather not have trouble from the beginning so many
So, again, making a recapitulation. We have done glowy eyes on this dude. We have done the nails. He ended up looking very, very nice, as you can see. Oh, you got an ad? I'm sorry about that. Let's get the ads off. Yeah, that, that thing is, is taking people off the, off the stream. So, we got these cool dudes. We got the glowy eyes. We got the nails done. Here, also the nails that are of the hand that's holding the staff. We got the glowy eyes of uh, Slugton. You can see them cool glowy eyes here. Very nice. Ended up looking, I think, pretty cool. Yeah, he ended up looking pretty cool. Very, very cool. And we did all the edge highlight here on this Space Marine that is kind of, I wouldn't say a personal project, it's just something to fool around, you know, see what we can do with this guy. Just to, you know, it's a, I, I want to do a kind of like a Horus Heresy color scheme on this dude, so let's see where we can go. But that is going to be regretfully it for today, my friends. I hope to see you guys again next week.